In April 2014, NASA, National Aeronautics and Space Administration, announced that they discovered the most similar planet to the Earth among the planets, which were discovered so far, in the habitable zone, life residential area. Its size is about the same size as the Earth's 1.1 times. This seems to be clarified as a result of analyzing images of the Kepler Space Telescope. It is close to the Earth on the cosmological scale. It is located 500 light years away from the Earth. Kepler 186f is the fifth planet of the red dwarf star Kepler 186 which is the Sun's presence on the Earth. And it revolves around the fixed star in the cycle of about 130 days. The distance to the fixed star is not too close and not too far, so it seems that there is a possibility that water will exist in the liquid state on the planet. Also, since red dwarf stars have little change after birth, it is difficult to determine the age of the Kepler-186 star system, but it is presumed that probably more than a billion years have passed. Dr. Elisa Quintana of Ames Research Center, NASA said, this planet is at a suitable size and suitable distance to have similar properties to the Earth. If it is approximately over 1.5 times larger than the Earth, it attracts a thick layer of hydrogen and helium by gravity, and its appearance resembles a giant gas planet like Jupiter or Saturn. But if it is about 1.1 times larger than the Earth, there is a possibility that the surface and the atmosphere composition close to the Earth exist. By the way, recently, on the new study about the outer planet Kepler-186f, it turned out to be similar to the Earth at least about the climate. Furthermore, the same result is obtained in Kepler-62f. Kepler-62f discovered in 2013 is one of the outer planets that revolves around the star Kepler-62, which is about 1,200 light-years away from the Earth in the direction of the Lyra. In the beginning of the discovery in 2013, it was the outer planet with the smallest diameter among the celestial objects expected to be inside the habitable zone where celestial objects can hold liquid water. The orbital length radius is 0.718 AU, which is about the same distance as Venus in the solar system, revolving around the fixed star in the cycle of about 267 days. Kepler-62f was estimated to have a diameter as the Earth's 1.41 times, from the attenuation of light passing through the stellar surface. NASA presumes Kepler-62f to be an Earth-type planet with rock composition, the so-called super-Earth. The age of Kepler-62 is 3 billion years to 11 billion years, and sufficient time has passed for life to be born. It is likely to have regular seasons and stable climates. In the research paper published in Astronomical Journal, they simulated, analyzed, and identified the dynamics of the rotation axis of the planet. This dynamics determines the degree of tilt of the axis of the planet and the change in angle due to time course. Since the inclination of the rotation axis affects the sunlight received by the planetary surface, it is a factor determining seasons and climates. Kepler-186f is a planet of the Earth sized for the first time within the habitable zone. As a result of the analysis, the rotation axis is very stable like the Earth. Therefore, it was found that it can highly have regular seasons and stable climates. Furthermore, the same result is obtained in super-Earth class Kepler-62f which is 1,200 light-years away from the Earth. Relation between inclination of rotation axis and climate How important is the inclination of the rotation axis for the climate? According to researchers, Mars was a planet of liquid water billions years ago, but now it has turned into desolate desert. A major change in the rotation axis may be the main reason. Dr. Gongja Lee at Georgia Institute of Technology, USA, who led the research team, said, Mars is in the habitable zone in the solar system, but the inclination of the rotation axis is unstable from 0 degrees to 60 degrees. Because of this instability, the atmosphere declined and the surface water evaporated. In contrast, the fluctuation of the Earth's rotation axis is more gentle, changing from 22.1 degrees to 24.5 degrees over 10,000 years. The orientation angle of the planetary orbit around the main star vibrates by gravitational interaction with other planets in the same star system. 
If the revolution orbit of a planet oscillates at the same speed as the precession movement of its rotation axis, the same as the oscillating motion of the rotation axis of the spinning top, the rotation axis will also oscillate back and forth, sometimes dramatically. Mars and the Earth act strongly, alongside Mercury and Venus. As a result, the rotation axis rotates by itself at the same rate as the fluctuation of the orbit, which may cause a large variation in the inclination of the rotation axis. The Moon is holding back the change on Earth. Fortunately, the Moon is holding back the change of the Earth. The Moon increases the precession rate of the Earth's rotation axis and makes a difference with the oscillation rate of the orbit. On the other hand, in the case of Mars, it has no satellite as large as possible to stabilize the tilt of the rotation axis like the Moon. Neither outer planet has weak connection with brother planets, it seems to be quite different from Mars and the Earth, said Dr. Lee. It is unknown whether there is a satellite there, but even if there were no satellites from the calculation, it is shown that Kepler 186f and Kepler 62f were able to stabilize for tens of millions of years. In case of Kepler 186f, Kepler 186f is within 10% bigger than Earth's radius, but its mass, its composition, and its density remain mysterious. The revolution cycle is 130 days. According to NASA, the brightness of Kepler 186 would be about the same as the brightness of the Sun just before sunset seen from the Earth if we stand at Kepler 186F at noon. Kepler 186 is located in the direction of the Cygnus and has five planets including Kepler 186F. In case of Kepler 62F, Kepler 62F was the outer planet, which was the most similar to the Earth, until Kepler 186F was discovered in 2014. It is 40% larger than the Earth and it is likely to be covered with rocks or the sea. It is located in the direction of the Lyra, on the outermost of the five outer planets that revolve around Kepler-62. Does life exist there? Both outer planets belong to the habitable zone, but life does not necessarily exist by all means. Still they are relatively strong candidates. This study is the first survey on the climate stability of the outer planets, which brings us a further understanding of the habitability of life. There is not enough understanding of the origin of life so that we can deny the habitability of life because the seasons of the planets are irregular, said Dr. Yudin Chan of the research team. Even on Earth, life is surprisingly diverse, it shows incredible elasticity in harsh environments. If the climate is stable, it will start even more comfortable. <laughs>